don't care. Um, it's a little windy out, so excuse the wind noise, but this is going to be the 2020 lawn care season setup. Um, from the last video I did, you can see a few changes to the trailer. Uh, I put plywood sides on, and I'll show you how I did that in a few minutes. But we're going to start off with, so here's the truck. This is a 20, there's a 2004 uh, F-150, and we got the BR-600 in here. Bet one of the best blowers on the market, in my opinion. I don't, it's perfect for the amount of power. Um, then once we come over here, we got the, the older trimmer, the FS-91R. This is amazing. Has I've had not really any issues with it, just besides keeping maintenance up with it. It's been perfect. And then... Um, I think I've had this for going on my third year with it, I think. It sounds about right. I think I bought it in 2018. So this is the third year with it. Now, this is the first year with this trimmer. This is a FS94R. Um, I've, I've just ran it in my driveway. Sorry, I've just ran it in my driveway for a little bit. I've just bought it at the end of December, so... It is in like this engine on the 91. It's like a, the original DL two stroke engine. I uh, I don't really know anything, but I'll make a review in a few months once we start using it and see how I like it. Um, next, we got the the mower, the main mower, I should say, the Hustler Fast Track 54 inch cut. This thing's amazing. Um, it's kind of dusty because it's been in my garage for three months. Um, but, yep, it's got the Kawasaki engine on it. I think it's about 20 horsepower. Not the most, but it does perfect. It does amazing with the leaves in the fall without even mulch bleak on it. Um, this is... Let's see how much hour, how many hours I have on this. I think it's over. It's 105 point... which is about 105. Um, I love this mower. It's great. Um, yep. And then, as I squeeze through here, we got the Toro push mower. Um, this thing's... I got a pretty good deal on it. And uh, it's got the Honda engine on it. And it starts up first pull every time. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm freezing out here. Uh, Alright, so I just had a shovel on here because I just put this piece of angle iron on the bottom. Under here, you probably can't see it. Just to hold the push mower in. It doesn't move at all. Um, I had to mark it up to see where the shovels would sit. But this is a buyer's hand tool rack. I think I got it for about 40 bucks on Amazon. Um, just a hand tool rack is pretty simple. Um, Alright, so here's the trailer, how I did the trailer while walls. I took a strip of aluminum. You can get it at like Home Depot for like, I think it's like five bucks or something. And I made some L brackets out of it. And then I believe I used half inch plywood, which isn't the biggest, but it's, it'll do the job. I'm, I'm not gonna seal them because this definitely only lasts a few years. Um, but made little angle brackets and then down there you can see I use straight brackets to connect the boards and then I use a old exhaust clamp down here to suck it in more to, to the front of the trailer um, we'll see how it holds up I don't know how well it's going to work but we'll see I just need this because I'm starting I want to get into more, doing more mulching this year and it'd be nice to be able to all mulch on this trailer even though it's not the biggest and not the strongest trailer but it is a pretty good trailer which brings me into the trailer this is a 6x12 Belmont machine trailer it's got I don't know how long these ramps are I think they're four foot one two three five foot ramps just about the split gate, the split gate's nice, but I, if I was to get another trailer, I would probably get a solid gate, and it would probably be a 
a dual axle 7x16 sure track. I'm really interested in the sure track trailers. I've heard a lot of good things about them and they hold up a lot better than these just steel angle iron trailers, but this thing's I, this thing has been awesome and been a huge money maker. Um, I put some new LED lights in here a few weeks ago. Um, just basic LED lights. Um, then I was gonna, I'm gonna replace those ones over here in the next few weeks probably. Just just get get everything ready. I'm trying to get everything ready early, so I don't have to worry about it in the middle of the season. Um, here we have some custom gas cam racks that I made and uh, had someone fall before me. Uh, they took the same metal action that I used for these brackets. And what this is, it's aluminum actually. And I just made a pin and I, I run nose fill cans because I think they're one of the best out there and I don't really want to spend $40 on a gas can. Or actually, they're like 60 for a sure can. So I got a, two, a five and a two and a half gallon sure can. Um, no, I've had no issues with them. The one leak, I had an, I have another one in there, but that leaked and I bought, it was the Home Depot version of this can and it leaked along the seal. You should get it not, you know, so I just bought a new can because the no spill ones are a lot nicer. And then I have another can for regular that I can use for the push mower because I have a feeling this year we're gonna be flying through gas every day. In the summer, I feel like we're gonna use one of these a week. Actually, people probably use one of these a day, but I don't. This usually lasts me two or three weeks. But um, yeah, I'm gonna jump into the back of the truck and show you what I have in that truck toolbox, which is kind of a mess, so. Up there, I'm on the truck bed now, and uh, this is an Ultima. I think that's how you, this is probably how you say it. Deflective Shield Aluminum Products Toolbox. Um, I, I, it came on the truck when I bought it, so I don't really know a whole lot about it. But um, yeah, I keep I try to keep everything I need on me for when I'm out cutting because I had issues where oh this broke down. I need to fix this right away. So. Um, let's start off with this. I run this oil and all my equipment. Um, I might continue running this or I might continue, I might start running red armor oil. I don't know. I think this is pretty close to red armor. So it, it has a synthetic and uh, stabilizes fuel too. So I had issues with steel oil and I'm not going to use that anymore. I just told you guys that a few times. But in here, we basically, this is just my tool bag. I got marker and this is the steel trimmer grease, which is actually, you take the cap off and you screw it into your trimmer gearbox. Um, I got some scissors, some sawzall pruning blades, uh, two metric and standard socket sets, a tire plug kit, the steel tool. Take spark plugs out. You can basically take apart and try a steel trimmer with this tool. Um, in there, I have a bunch of spare parts. I have a spark, extra spark plug for the 91. Bolts for the guards on both the trimmers. Um, speed feed parts. I didn't talk about that. I run speed feed on both my trimmers because it's, it's easier to load than the regular steel heads. Um, we got a pipe wrench and a hammer and a hatchet. I keep this in here because this is what I use to take the ball off the hitch and flip around. Um, I got a few extra balls and I got an extra hitch in here. Um, and here are just a bunch of dielectric grooves, safety glasses, some trimmer line, some wiring, uh, some screwdrivers, and this extra speed feed cap. Always keep one of those on you if you're on speed feeds because they go through pretty quick apparently. I haven't had them go out, but I keep one on me just in case. Um, Dielectric grease is important for your trailer connectors because it keeps corrosion out, it keeps it clean. Um, and here I just have to make one of those a rigid basket from the rigid thoughts system. Uh, 
You got some WD-40, keep that on you at all times. Some great lithium grease. Um, some oil for the push mower. Um, Pickle flat, some tug of towels. Uh, I love these things, they're great. Zip ties, which you always need. This is more, some wire, wiring stuff. This is more wires to the wiring stuff. Oh, lights for the trailer. Some sharp blades. And I got a bunch of straps over here. Um, just got the here's some sizes and you have to uh, extendable like roll away, which is kind of neat. So it's not that bad. Yeah, um yeah, that's pretty much everything from the toolbox. So uh see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.